um, order back from Beckett. This was a 10-day order. Uh, 15 carts, approximately 15 to 20. I'm, I guess I can't remember the exact number. But um, this stuff was mid-end mid to high-end stuff. So Let's get to it. Um, I got to ship back uh, FedEx Brown. So Beckett's in Texas, so it took a, a couple days to get it back. And I, I only looked at a few. Let's go through. We'll just start with this one. It's a Francisco Lindor. This is the uh, Bowman Chrome Refractor. This is out of 500. And it's a Beckett 9.5 with a 10 auto. So that one did well. The, uh, the subgrades are actually pretty impressive on that one. I guess if you get 10, 10, 10, and 9.5, the overall is a 10 pristine. I think that's how it works. Then if they're all 10s, then the 10, the case is black now. I only know that because I have a Puig Bowman Chrome. They, they got that. Um, let's let's pull this card out. This is just the packing slip. Shows like the grades. A lot of people look at their grades online before the order comes. I never understood that. That takes away all the suspense to me. It's nice to be able to pick up the card and not know and then look at it. But I guess to each their own. This is a car exquisite. It's actually turned into a very good quarterback. Um, 75 on this. It's got three colors. And try to get the better lighting so you guys can see the actual card. And I guess the auto was a 10. So I try not to send cards with autos that I didn't think were 10s just because... I have all these cards and they have eight auto with like nine or nine five. It just looks it, to me it takes away from the card when that happens. Um, this one they they wouldn't grade, so they're saying evidence of recoloring. So on the front, let's just try to take this off. It's a really cool card, but I guess right here they're saying that's where it was uh, recolored. Uh kind of does look that way. This is a Peterson Spa from 2007, so um, I might send it to PSA. I'm not sure yet, but kind of a bummer, but it happens. That's one big positive about buying your own boxes and pulling your own cards, because you don't have to worry about tampering, but on the other hand, it's really tough to pull a card like that. This is a very interesting one. Because I sent it to PSA and it came back PSA 7. And I, I looked the card over, you know, five times. And I couldn't find anything that was wrong with it. So I just thought maybe PSA made a mistake. They are human. So I sent it to Beckett. It got, it got a 9.5. I just don't see anything that's that messed up with the card. I didn't know if there was a crease I wasn't seeing. But it's out of 10. It's the uh, laundry tag version. And the auto's a 10. So that's a, that's a nice one. It's out for the year, but they're still undefeated. Nobody called that one. Um, this is pretty sick. Jose Fernandez, and this is a 2011 Chrome Draft, the same set as the uh, Lindor. This is also the Refractor to 500. And it got a uh, 9510. There's the back of it, the numbering. So, so far, so good on this order. Chrome Gold Lindor. This was a nine. Um, the center and corners were the the two main subgrades that were holding this one back. It's still a nice card and a respectable back at nine with a ten auto. So there's nothing wrong with that. And it's slab now too. So it's out of fifty. Solid card. And those are the ones I saw. The rest of these I haven't seen. I just kind of took a peek today. Let's do this a different way. Is it really large in there? Um, that's that's nasty. Buxton, this is a Bowman Chrome Orange, and it got a 9.5. Um, this is out of 25. His auto is so small and <laughs> doesn't even look like he's spelling anything. 25. That's sick. This is a uh, predominantly baseball. Oh, that's filthy. Uh, Lindor, Tops Chrome Gold. This one's got some nice subs. 
out of 50. There's the 50 of 50. It's a 1 of 1. I'm just kidding. But, it's nice. Oh, that's filth. The sword is really, really good so far. This is a chrome gold. This is just the refractor, not the auto. Still a badass guard, though. Um, it's out of 50. And it got a 9.5. Yeah, they, the reason I sent these into Beckett was um, they had a promo going. 10 days, $10. I, I thought that was decent. Man, we're just slaughtering this order. 9.5 on the uh, Korea. Bowman Chrome Orange. This is out of uh, 2015 Bowman, not Bowman Chrome. But it's a Bowman Chrome card, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Orange Refractor to 25. Sick. Try to get these cards out. They just lodge in there so tight. Okay, uh, Michael Franco, and this is a Bowman Chrome Orange Auto, and it got a nine, barely a nine actually. If it was 0.5 lo lower on the subs, this would be an eight five. So hung on for a nice nine out of twenty five. That's the orange. And Lindor, yeah, I was uh, I've bought a ton of these guys, if, a ton of this card. If you guys watch my uh, mail days from the summer, so I, I had them all sitting. I was waiting to send them in, and I sent about seven into PSA, and they all came back nines, or the majority did. So I wanted to see what what Beckett would grade them out as. I think Beckett's a little easier on the Bowman Chromes. Don't quote me on that, but that's just from the experience of what I've sent in. So this is the Lindor to five hundred nine five. This is the same card. So yeah, I'm just. They're grading these ones pretty easy. I mean, it's, the cards are also in good shape. I took a pretty good look at these and wiped the surface on all of them just to give myself the best odds. So another Lindor 9.5. Um, should be a few more. I was expecting a 9.5 on this, and it was it's close. This is a candidate that I might... To me, it's worth the money to uh, either send it back in for a uh, look over again or just snap it and send it. Because if I send it back in and it gets a 9 on the center and it's a Beckett 9.5, and that probably has $500 to the card. So that's just kind of one of the things you need to consider when you're graded high and stuff like this. Um, this is a badass blue wave. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but 9 still solid. Um, looks like the centering cost me. It doesn't look that bad to me, though. You guys see, does it look that bad? 55 45, I don't know. It's not bad. Okay. So Lindor, Tops Chrome. This is Gold Auto to 50. Nine five. That one's fifty in the right there. This one was crushed. This is filthy. I actually pulled this from a pack. Um, nine five, Bridgewater Red Refractor. It's probably one of my out of all the cases I've opened of 2014 Top Scrum. It's probably one of the best cards I've pulled. It's so hard to, to pull a red and then to pull one of the best players in the set is even cooler. So 25, 9-5. Um, this is a really cool card. Jarvis Landry, it's an SP Authentic um, Inscriptions Gold to 3. 3 of 3 if you see that. Back at 9-5. Um, just filthy. And Korea, this is nice. 
9.5, this is the refractor version to 500. So yeah, these cards were all looked over closely, and I kind of wanted to send in my best stuff and give my give myself the best chance of getting good grades, and it definitely worked out this time. Not all orders are like this, but I'm definitely stoked about the results on this one. So the refractor order to 500 Korea. And then the last card of this one is a Gregory Polanco. And it's a 9.5 as well. This is a blue refractor to 150. Um, this stuff's kind of tailed off lately. He's still a young player, so we'll see kind of what he does next year. But it's 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 kind of make or break for these prospects when they get called up. I mean, they either, you know, they're either like Chris Bryan or Correa, or they kind of, if they don't put up like awesome stats and people stop buying them, that's just the way it is. So. There's Polanco to 150. That's going to wrap this one up. I thought that order was a huge success. Um, proud of my best orders ever, honestly. In terms of cards, I, the um, profile of cards I sent in, I, I sent in some pretty expensive cards, and they came back 9.5s. Um, normally, I don't have that kind of luck with Beckett, um, but for me, this time it was awesome. So uh, tune in, guys. I'll have, I have a PSA Bolt coming back soon. I think they're sending it back here in the next few weeks and I got some more orders going out this month later